Alright my friends, hello, it's uh, April 16, I'm walking up. This is, these are the steps that connect you to the observation decks on the Empire State Building. Uh, I didn't walk all the way up uh, from the ground floor to the 86th floor. Took an elevator to the 80th floor and the last six floors I opted to walk because there's a really long line for the elevators themselves. This is the exit. Fresh air. This view from where I'm standing is looking south. All the way in the distance down there you can see One World Trade Center, already the tallest building in all of the United States, measuring 1,776 feet. You also have the Flat Iron Building over by 23rd Street where Broadway Avenue makes intersection with 5th Avenue, Madison Square Park, right down there. Zooming back up. This is a view of the northern section, all the way in the distance there, or further down by the midsection, you can see Central Park. That really tall building there is going to be 101 stories tall, it's still under construction. You can see the crane on top. The top three floor apartment is expected to sell for close to $140 million. It's going to be the tallest residential building in the Western Hemisphere. Times Square is down in the distance down there. You can see the illuminations on the facade of this building with the setbacks. The Hudson River is that body of water down there and uh, further north, all the way up north, that bridge that you see is the George Washington Bridge connecting Manhattan to the North American continent or New Jersey on the other side. Here's a view of Midtown East. All the way down in the distance there, that is the Chrysler Building. The Chrysler Building is in the same architectural style as the Empire State Building and is considered to be the most beautiful example of Art Deco architecture in all of the United States. More of the Hudson River and the New Jersey on the other side across from the water there. From here we can see the spire of the building. Tonight is illuminated red. Every night uh, the colors could potentially be different and they signify uh, different organizations and different events and different commemorations as well. This is looking north a couple of minutes later and as you can see uh, the sun has set further and the buildings are almost fully illuminated and the view is even the more spectacular. This is looking north. This is the Midtown area, that body of water down there is the East River and further down that is Long Island where Brooklyn and Queens are located. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be it for today's short video vlog. For more videos, log on to my website 5theguy.com where you'll have a connection to my video blog on YouTube. If you are on Facebook, like the Facebook page so to be automatically updated when new videos become available. Have a wonderful afternoon or morning depending where you are and when you are watching this video. Bye!